We're just in the car. It's 5.30 in the morning and my race starts at 6 a.m. So I've got a 20K and this is what you can see outside. That's it, just uh, darkness. I've got all my stuff. It's pretty cold. It's about, I think, nine degrees. 4.8 feels like. Oh, it feels like 4.8. There you go. I don't think Brisbane ever got this cold. Lucky we arrived a little bit early because they moved the start line from last year. So we were waiting around there and uh, there was not much action. So we spoke to someone and we've just come around. So I doubt you can see much, but here it is. It's someone for the 100 miler or 100 k's coming through. And I'm with the pretty vest. There you go. Does it match? Uh, everyone's got one on, so it's all good. So the problem with these early morning starts is the GoPro doesn't really pick up much, but everyone's gathering here for the final speech before the start of the 21k. <laughs> See if I can find Amanda. Can't see anything. She's one of them. This is the second year of the 20k event at the Brisbane Trail Ultra and the second year that I've entered. So last year when I did it, I actually did really well and came second female overall. And this year I came 13th overall and actually did a slower time than last year, but was still really proud of this result. There were a couple of reasons for that. And I decided to go into this race with a bit of a different attitude from what, how I normally race. So I've been thinking about this for a while and I feel like women in particular are really notorious for coming up with all the excuses when they're not going to perform well. And I'm as guilty of this as anyone. So you stand at the start line and you'll hear people say, you know, I'm undertrained or I'm overtrained. I have a niggle. Oh, I haven't, um, I've had a bit of an injury or I've been sick. I'm slow. I'm going to start at the back because I'm so slow. I'm a back of the pack runner. So we come up with all these reasons why we're not going to perform well. And I feel like men don't do that. I feel like men go out there and just go, no, I'm going to smash this, even if they're not feeling like they've trained well. So I decided to change my attitude a little bit and just go, you know, this is how I am today. This is the, you know, this is how I've gotten to this race. This is as fit as I am today, as fit as I can be today. This is, you know, how I've trained. I'm going to have a bit of a different thought process is going through my head about racing and going out and enjoying the races. Like I enter so many races and I love them. So I might as well enjoy it while I'm there. So I've decided I'm going to stand on the start line and say, well, here I am with all my strengths, all my weaknesses. This is where I'm at today. This is my body I'm going to race with. This is how my mind is that I'm going to race with. And I'm going to give it all that I can with what I've got on the day. I think it's pretty rare that any athlete, elite or back of the pack or anywhere in between get to a race with perfect prep. It happens occasionally and kudos to anyone that it does happen to, but it's rare that it happens regularly when you have that perfect preparation because, you know, life gets in the way. So you have to go into a race thinking, well, it's just how I am today and I'm just going to do the best that I can today. So that's where I started this race and uh, that's how I ran it. And, you know, it was, it was a great race. I really enjoyed it. And, you know, it's been a couple of months since I ran this race and now I'm editing this video and I'm looking back going, actually, I really want to do this again. So I had a great experience, really loved it and um, recommend it to anyone. It's a... It's a really different kind of run because it's half on trail and half on road. So the first 10 Ks is on trail and really quite hilly. So there's quite a bit of elevation. And then the last 10 Ks is on the road and you run through the city, like it's just beautiful, running along the river, over the bridges. You know, you've got such a good view of the city, perfect winter, crisp morning. And uh, it's, it's a great event. It's 20 past seven on 
Sunday morning. Amanda's doing her 21k trail run, which actually finishes here in Kangaroo Point, just across, just across the river from the city. She did this last year and did really well, so I'm here to capture the finishing moments. It's a pretty crisp morning, that's for sure. But uh, I've got about an hour sort of to wait till Amanda should be finished, so let's see how she goes. <laughs> Just smile for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I don't think, think I'm getting fine. you anyway. I don't know. Can't see a thing. <laughs> so this is a really popular rock climbing place here in Brisbane. The Kangaroo Point Cliffs and Council supply all these. So you can put your ropes around them. Oh, I dropped my sunnies. So all through the day and night, you tend to get people climbing here. I'll see if I can get a bit closer to the edge. There you go. So this is where you can see people down there. People are up and climbing. Be hard on the cold hands, I reckon. And literally you're across from the city, so pretty spectacular. If you're a rock climber, great city to live. So the finish line is just over there. We'll go have a look at that. But this is the actual finish. They have to run up these stairs. So after 21K, you run up, run up the famous Kangaroo Point stairs. You can see people doing that now. They're very steep and people just come here all the time and run up and down as you can see. Looks like there's a pretty serious sort of boot camp going on down there. Check it out. I assume running up these stairs is part of it, but you can see how those stairs wind their way down. So, great finish to this event. Not. And here's the finish line. So you can see the Red Bull finishing arch there. This is actually part of the Spartan Trail Running World Series. So they run up those stairs I just showed you, and they do a loop up around here somewhere, and run back down here. So it's pretty cool, you can't get a more Brisbane orientated event. Again, you can see the city. Great city, Brisbane, I do love it. I think we're pretty spoiled in this city. We have so many different training options available. We've set this thing up on our phone so we can track each other. Here it is, I worked it out. So she's on La Trobe Terrace, I think. So actually probably only about 20, 30 minutes away, I'd say. My hamstrings are pretty cooked right now. So I'd say there's maybe six k's to go from here. So the dude here in the high vis vest just finished the 100 miler, 161 k, and looking, I think, surprisingly good. So I'm about 500 metres from home. You can see Epic Cycles there on the corner. And if I head around that way, I could be home very soon. After they run up those earlier stairs I showed you, they then need to run up here. So, <laughs> just never ends. The trail run that keeps giving. And then they do a big loop around the top there somewhere and run down and finish under the finishing chute there. I'll take my high vis vest stuff now. And I reckon I've got, I don't know, 5k maybe, 6. It's advertised as a 20k run, but then but it's the BTU 20, but they show it's like 21 and a half, it's longer than last year. Anyway, we're down on the river now. I'll be interested to see how Amanda goes actually, because she was sick for a week and 
she hasn't really done much training, but sometimes that can work in your favor. Sometimes a forced rest can do you good, but I guess we'll find out very soon. Running along the river here is part of my normal running route, and I just love running along here. It's just stunning. So there's Amanda, and there I am, Kangaroo Point. She's just got to come across this bridge here, and up these stairs, and she's done. So probably 10-ish minutes away, I'd say. And just as we're going up the bridge, Four people overtook me, so there was uh, three women and one men, so that put me from 10th place overall to 13th. Right near the finish line, I saw one of the volunteers who was a friend of mine, um, and it was so good to see her. I was very excited, and she was so enthusiastic, and it was like, a good little lift for the last bit of the run. Hello! So close, just a few stairs to go. Yeah. Good to see you. I saw Tim up there. Good yeah. <laughs> Feeling good? Uh, you know, okay. Yeah. yeah, let's say I'm feeling great. Hello! Uh, this is Elise. <laughs> awesome volunteer. You're doing amazing, Amanda. How am I saying? Thanks That's so it. much. See ya. Whoa, my legs have gone. She comes up the evil stairs. We'll just see her coming around the corner now. See if we can see a smile. There's always a smile. There she is. Well done, honey. You're right. Especially after running. Running all night. You gotta go around. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Last set of stairs. This hurt, but it's getting easier. No, 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 the finish line is just about here. Thanks for racing with me.